hello welcome to this tutorial it's modular arithmetic and uh, we are going to look at equations in modular arithmetic so please watch our previous videos on modular arithmetic um we start with the first problem find the solutions or truth set of the following equations in the given moduli so we start with the first problem a 5x is equal to 8 mod 6 here what we do is to look for multiples of 6 because we are working with modulo 6 look for multiple of 6 such that when added to 8 the sum will be divisible by 5 so the multiple of 6 is a 12 12 so we have it as 8 plus 12 mode 6 8 plus 12 is 20 so 5x is equal to 20 mode 6 20 divided by 5 gives 4 so x is equal to 4 mode 6 we stop here and go to problem b problem b we have a x minus 3 is equal to 4 mode 2 so we solve normally take this negative 3 to the right hand side so we have x is equal to 7 mode 2 since 4 plus 3 gives 7 so x is 7 mode 2 and uh, here we can just find the equivalent modulus of 7 in mode 2 that is going to give us 7 divided by 2 gives 3 remainder 1 so our x will be equal to 1 mode 2 our x is equal to 1 mode 2 you can also just uh, subtract multiple of 2 from 7 to get 1 that's 6 would have just been 7 minus 6 which gives 1 mode 2 so we go to problem C 6x plus 3 gives 7 in mode 4 so we take this 3 to the right hand side it becomes negative so we have 6x equal to 4 mode 4 and we look for equivalent modulus of 4 such that uh, it's divisible by 6 by adding multiple of 4 and uh, 4 plus 8 8 is a multiple of 4 plus 8 will give us 12 so 4 is 12 mode 4 so therefore we now have 6 is equal to 12 mode 4 so 12 divided by 6 gives a 2. So x is equal to 2 mode 4. So we go to problem 1d. 5 minus 3y is equal to 0 mode 8. So we have a negative 3y is equal to negative 5 mode 8. After taking this 5 to the right hand side, so we still have it as 3y is equal to 5 mod 8 after dividing both sides by negative 1. So here again, um, 5 is equal to uh, adding multiple of 8 to 5. We have 5 to be equal to 21 mod 8. 21 mod 8 the multiple of 8 that we have added is 16 so therefore 3y equal to 5 mod 8 becomes 3y equal to 21 mod 8 and 21 is divisible by 3 so y is equal to 7 mod 8 dividing 21 by 3 gives 7 so we go to problem 1e for problem 1e, I have 5a plus 3 is equal to 2 mode 11. 
So what we do, we said 5a is equal to negative 1 mod 11, 2 minus 3. Since when you take this positive 3 to the right hand side, it gives negative. So that point, it becomes 2 minus 3, which gives negative 1 mod 11. Now, negative 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 11 gives 10. So that will give us 10 mod 11 since 10 is divisible by 5. So our equation becomes 5a is equal to 10 mod 11, which gives a equal to 2 mod 11. So that's the solution of problem 1e and that is all for problem 1. We go to problem 2. For problem 2, find the values of x in each of the following equations in the given moduli. Here we are not just finding the value, one value of x, find the values of x. Meaning uh, there are many values of x that will satisfy each of these uh, equations. So we start with a part of the problem. So we are taking this to the right hand side. We have a uh, 6x is equal to 2 mod 4. So we now bring this to and find its equivalent modulo 4. We want to see its equivalent modulo 4. By continuing adding 4, we get the equivalent modulus and we will now select which one will be divisible by 6. So we have a 6 mode 4, 10 mode 4, 14 mode 4, 18 mode 4, and uh, this one is divisible by 6. This is divisible by 6. So we, our first set of solution will now be 6x is equal to 6 mode 4, where x is equal to 1 mode 4. Again, 6x is equal to 18 mode 4. And uh, at that point, x is equal to 3 mod 4. 18 divided by 6 gives 3. So these are the values of x which satisfy the equation 6x minus 2 is equal to 0 in modulo 4. So we go to b. For b, I have 3x plus 5 is equal to 2 mod 6. So I collect the like terms 2 minus 5 gives negative 3 mod 6 and uh, again we get equivalent of 3 modulo 6 by continuing adding 6 I have 3 mod 6 add 6 again I have 9 mod 6 add 6 I have 15 mode 6 if I add 6 I have 21 mode 6 and 21 divided by 3 gives 7 so we stop here so our first set of solution will be 3x is equal to 3 mode 6 x is equal to 1 mode 6 3 divided by 3 gives 1 then the second set of our solution is 3x is equal to 9 mod 6 since 9 is divisible by 3 that will give us x is equal to 3 mod 6 and finally 3x is equal to 15 mod 6 and x is equal to 5 mod 6 so the values of x are 1 3 and 5 which satisfy the equation 3x plus 5 is equal to 2 mode 6. So we go to C part of the problem. 3x is equal to 6 mode 9. So immediately here, 6 is divisible by 3. So we just have our first set of solution to be equal to 2 mode 9. Then we still go ahead to get the equivalent of 6 mod 9 so that we now have it as plus 9 gives uh, 15 mod 9 
plus 9 again gives 24 mod 9 plus 9 again gives 33 even though 33 is divisible by 3 it gives 11 which is greater than the modulus we are working with so we have 3x is equal to 15 mode 9 and x is equal to 5 mode 9 and lastly we have a 3x is equal to 24 mode 9 24 divided by 3 gives uh, 8 so x is equal to 8 mode 9 and uh, we have done justice to problem 2 this is the end of this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it so please subscribe to our youtube channel uninabo resources like and share this video until we come your way again goodbye